Welcome to part three of the jack-o'-lantern tutorial. In the last part, we sketched, tinted, and textured our watercolor paper. If you missed that part, I'll put a link in the card above, as well as in the description below. Due to a corrupt file, I don't have video of the blocking in on the orange underpainting. I do have progress shots, but that doesn't show you how it happens. So, I started a second version with a blue background. I hope this isn't confusing. Let the blocking in begin. Starting with one of your darker colors, not black, but something pretty dark, begin blocking in those shadow shapes. On my pumpkin, I'm using a very dark reddish orange. On the background, I'm using a very dark green. I'm using the side of the pastel and a light pressure. Don't try and cover everything all at once. Build in layers and you'll have better results in the end. Once you've got the majority of your shadow shapes blocked in, start blocking in the next lightest value, bringing in some brighter color. I'm using a bright orange on the pumpkin coming on top of some of the shadow colors I've already put down. Then I'm going to bring in a yellow. That yellow and orange aren't too far apart in value at this point. Again, keep using light pressure and the side of the pastels. Not working on detail yet. We're still blocking in color and creating the form. As those medium and darker values get blocked in, you can start pulling in even lighter values. In mine, I'm bringing in this lighter yellow to start bringing up those illuminated areas. Still using a very light touch. At this point in mine, I decided to jump to the background. I like to try and develop the painting overall. If you prefer to focus on the background, get it all covered and then go to your subject, that is perfectly fine. Do what works for you. I like to do a more overall balanced approach so that the whole thing develops pretty much at the same time. At this point in mine, I would consider the block in complete, but I'm not going to do details just yet. I'm going to continue to refine those shadow shapes, start building, layering more color, still using a light touch. Some of the bigger dark areas, I'm going to break up into smaller areas with subtle value changes. Things are getting exciting. Those colors are starting to build. There's some blending starting to happen, but I'm not actively trying to blend just yet. I'm going to come in with my darkest dark now a black, a very soft black pastel, and start building up some of those super dark areas that I've got in that log and the front of the pumpkin. Here you can see me starting to hint at some of the details in those logs, just really loosely, really softly, adding in some of those lines, then going back to the side of the pastel in the rest of the areas. Still light touch. I've spent a little more time on both of these now, so I'm really starting to get into the blending. I'm also getting a whole lot of shedding of pigment, so my hands are an absolute mess. I'm still liking this one overall, but as you can tell, this is a much brighter orange than this. This is much more subdued, so depending on what you're going for, your underpainting can make a big difference. Uh, at this point, I just need to spend more time on both of them. There's still, I think, quite a bit I can do on this one, and this one is starting to get more and more refined, so I can start working on these little details uh, with probably with more pencils and just a little bit of, uh, what am I thinking, a little bit of finger blending and other blending. And I wanna show you real quick, this is a kneaded eraser, and you can use it to blend also and sometimes it's a little better than a finger so you can see it's really working that down in there but it's one I don't use often enough it's definitely a little hidden gem in the toolbox that's all for this week next week I'll cover refining where we get to those delicious details and finishing your art if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Now, go make some art.